Hey there, how's it going? My name is Cherry Dizza and welcome back to whatever this is. It's that time of the year again, Valentine's Day is rolling around and people are still as annoying as ever about it. And I still don't have eyebrows, so I'm using a clear eyebrow gel to brush up my eyebrow hairs and make them look a little bit fuller than they are. I really really loved the feathery brow look that I went with in my last video so I'm using the same techniques again. I'm using really light strokes with my angled brush to mimic brow hairs, leaving the top a little bit messier and having a more precise shape along the bottom and the end. I cleaned up the front and the tail end because these are the places that I wanted to be precise with a flat brush and foundation. Now that's what I call a catfish. Also, yes, I have a pimple towards the tail end of my brow, so I just made it as thick as possible there so that the eyebrow would cover up the pimple. Yes, I'm a genius. Thank you so much for asking. a little bit of foundation to my eyelids to cover up my thick ass eye veins and I blended that out. I used a flat brush with some eye primer to make the shape of the eye look that I was going for and then just very roughly fill that in. I switched between an angle brush and a really thin detail brush to add red lipstick, red liquid lipstick, yes I know, it's stained, along the edge of the shape that I'd created. This was the hard part because I'd already had two Red Bulls and my hands were shaking so much. The reason I used red liquid lipstick was so that I knew it would not budge because I have like really weirdly greasy eyelids. I see you, you have no right to judge me. Then I used that flat brush again to add a shimmery pink shade to the places where I had the eye primer. The one thing I love the most about Valentine's Day, except for seeing people get to be happy, is the abundance of pink and red everywhere. It's such a pretty color combination and I wanted to absolutely use it in this look. I used the angle brush to apply the pink eyeshadow in the corner because I didn't want to smear it in with the red. to try a really light foundation look so I didn't add too much. I did a very very light layer on my full face and then I focused on the problem areas that really needed the covering. I misted myself with some setting spray to keep everything in place. Contour on a fluffy brush, clean up the edge underneath, you know the drill by now. I did my cheekbones before taking that up into my temples and all the way up across my forehead. some contour on my nose very roughly because I knew that I'd be adding the definition later. The really fun bit here was absolutely covering myself in blush. The only place I didn't really put blush was my forehead and my chin. Everywhere else was pretty much covered. I used my finger to add my highlight shade onto my nose. I threw some red eyeshadow on my under eye and I blended that outwards and downwards. On the edge
edges of the red, I put some of the blush to blend that into the rest of my face. I made my pink foundation and I roughly added the top half of the heart onto my face with the flat brush. Here comes the part I did not think would work. I used my hand as a stamp to add it onto my other cheek. No, I didn't think it would work. And yes, I was very surprised that it did. I then outlined and filled in the bottom little corner of the heart on both cheeks. I made a deeper pink shade to add some shadows to the heart and use my detail brush to add those along the top and the sides. I also added some highlights using the eye primer. The foundation was still wet at this point, so I added some setting powder to make it less icky. I also added some red eyeshadow where I added the shadows earlier to deepen those shadows further. That's a lot of shadows. smudge that out with my finger to give some rough highlights. And then with white eyeliner, I highlighted the highlights. For the eyeliner, I made multiple sacrifices before doing the rough outline, cleaning that up and filling it in. I also did my cute little inner corner flakes. I used the eye primer to make a base for where the inner corner highlighter was going to go. I tightlined my bottom waterline and added some black eyeshadow. With the black eyeshadow, I added three little spikes under the eye to give the effect of eyelashes. packed highlighter onto my inner corner, my brow bone, the tip of my nose and the bridge, before using the white eyeliner to add some little freckles. Normally I use my finger to smudge them but I didn't want to get them on the hearts so this took longer than usual. I used my finger to smudge a lip stain along the top and the bottom of my lips and then blended a darker pink shade into the center. And of course, I cleaned that up because you know how messy I can be with lipstick. so I was pretty sure that I was re-piercing my ears here, but they were somehow still open. Posey clips incoming! And that's it! Thank you so much!
much for sticking around this long, it would be super cool if you wanted to stick around for a little while longer. Remember to like the video and subscribe because it really really helps me out. Let me know in the comments how you are planning on spending this Valentine's Day. However it is, it better be inside! There is a pandemic! I'm Cherry Dizza, D-I-S-A, on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, but the links to all of those will be in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!